Okay, y'all. So I'm back with another video. And okay, y'all, this is not a try on haul. This is not a manifestation video. <clears throat> this is a video of me telling y'all how I got arrested. Like, your girl got arrested. Yes, I was locked up. <laughs> This story is mad funny, but I'm not going to tell y'all what state I got locked up in or who was there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just tell y'all what happened to me. So we're going to start it off because I don't like long intros and when people be talking, like, I just want to start it. So, anyways, give me a second. I got to look at my phone. So my best friend just texted me and she said, I'm checking to see how your head feels because I was in the shower and I was talking to her while I was in the shower and my fucking shower rod fell on my head and I was screaming like it really felt mad hard. So she didn't know what happened and she just mad silent on the phone. So I'm like, yo, you not hearing me screaming? She's like, what happened? I'm like, the shower rod fell on my head. I'm like, that's how I know if something was happening to me. You wouldn't even care. You wouldn't even know. But anyways, so... That's besides the point. Let me tell y'all the juice. <laughs> I meant to say the tea, but I guess we could talk about the juice. Let me tell y'all about the juice. That's that's a, that's something new. We might say that. I might start saying that for now. Let me tell y'all the juice. All right. So basically, this happened in 2020. This happened in 2020. The beginning of 2020. And I was out of town and I was like, you know, enjoying myself or whatever. And the one day, okay, so where I was, I was on the West Coast. Basically, I was on the West Coast. And um, that's like six hours away from over here. So mind you i'm over there whatever i just got there that first day i'm chilling i pulled up to the airbnb i'm chilling it's a nice airbnb it's cool it's nice it's a vibe so later on that night i decided like you know I'm, i want to go get some food so i decided to go to some hibachi spot <clears throat> and i wanted i wanted to get some food so i decided to start taking shots and the person i was with like they like they like an alcoholic like on some like crazy shit like now like sometimes like you meet people and you don't really know them as well as you think you do until you go out of town with them when you go out of town with your friends or whoever you really be seeing people with true colors but anyways so basically the person I'm with is like, yeah, let's take shots, let's take shots. So I'm like, mm, no, because I don't really, I don't really drink. Like I'm not a drinker. I rather, you know, I rather smoke. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so I'm like, all right, cool. Like, what could possibly happen if I drink? Like, you know? So I decided that I'm a drink. So, but you know, sometimes when you're drinking, you don't even realize how much you're drinking until that shit start catching up to you. Like me, when I drink, I be drinking because I feel like my tolerance is very high and I feel like I can keep drinking. So I kept drinking and um, I kept I kept drinking. We just, we just kept taking shots. We was eating, we was having fun. We just kept taking shots after shots after shots. And this motherfucker just kept asking for shots after shots after shots. So I kept taking shots after shots. And mind you, the Airbnb wasn't that far from the restaurant. It was like literally like 10 minutes away from the restaurant. So I decided to, um, I wasn't driving. The person I was with was driving. So I decided to drive because I felt like I wasn't that lit. Like I swear to God, I felt like when I walked out, I don't, I didn't think I was that lit. Like I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling drunk. I wasn't feeling tipsy. Like I thought I was okay, but I really did have mad shots. Like I had like about 20 shots probably. Like I swear to God, but I was not feeling lit at all. So I got in the car and now it's time to go back to the Airbnb. So I went back to the Airbnb or whatever and no, 
pause, pause. I did not go back to the Airbnb. I put the Airbnb, I thought I put the Airbnb address in my phone to go back there, but that's not what I did. So earlier that day, I had went out shopping or whatever. So it was like, you know, when you trying to put an address in Waze, cause I use the Waze app, like it has different, like, you know, you see your most recent places that you went. So instead of putting in the Airbnb, um, the address I put in where I was at early on that day, mind you, where I was at early on that day is like probably 40 minutes, 30, 30 to 40 minutes away from the Airbnb. So mind you, the restaurant is only 10 minutes away from the Airbnb. So it's late at night and I put in where I was at early on that day. I put in the address. The reason I found out, found this out is cause after the fact, I'm gonna tell you all the story anyways. Like we gonna, we gonna have to rewind back to some, some parts so y'all can understand. So then basically what happened is I put in that address that where we was at and i'm driving i'm driving mind you this whole time i don't even know where, what i'm doing like i i'm really bent but i did not i couldn't believe i was that bent i couldn't believe i was that bent until i started realizing that i was driving mad far and i don't know where i'm going and why am i driving because i remember the airbnb being closer than this so i'm driving driving and mind you this motherfucker is drunk and i'm over here driving 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 so I'm like, I, like all I see is woods and shit. You know, on the West Coast, it's a bunch of mountains, woods, all types of shit. So I'm like, where the fuck am I? And it's dark as shit outside. So when I woke up was when I seen lights behind me. And those lights was the police. Them lights was the police, okay? So now... I get pulled over. So they pulled me over. Mind you, the address that I put in, like I I actually got to the destination, but then I realized like like I woke up like who who would not wake up when it's the cops? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I see them, they pulling me over, they told me to step out the car and they smell alcohol and they needed to do a test. They wanted me to like walk a straight line and then they wanted me to take a breathalyzer test so i'm like all right cool i'm like all right cool i got this because like i'm up now like these motherfuckers ain't gonna get me mind you i've never been in this type of situation because i don't get drunk so then mind you i'm driving so you know they they on the driver so i'm like why am i getting stopped so i'm getting stopped because i ran a red light so I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't see that. Mind you, I'm in the woods and it's dark. So obviously I didn't, I didn't see them. They in the cut hiding. So now, now I get out the car and they ask me to do a uh, walk the straight line. So I'm like, yeah, I got this. So they like, uh, like, you know, I'm just acting very like sober. I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm sober. Like I was answering all their questions. I was like you know like doing everything they asked me to do so then now he asked me to get in his car the police asked me to get in their car so i'm like all right so i'm thinking like i'm gonna be all right they're gonna give me a ticket or something okay so now he's like okay i need you to take the breathalyzer test so i'm like huh so he was like yeah i need you to take the breathalyzer test so i'm like all right so i'm like i got this down packed so he he gives me a breathalyzer test and he told he tells me that I need to blow like three times or some shit like that. So I'm like, hmm. So I'm like, what? Like I just but I was just drinking. Why would you want me to blow into this shit when I was just drinking? So I'm like this. So this is whoa pause. <laughs> so act like this is a straw. So I'm like this. Sound like this. <laughs> so I swear to God, I did that shit about five times. I kept giving it to him. I'm like, it's not working. I don't know what's going on. He was like, no, you need to do this. <sighs> like eventually he like now he's watching. So I'm like, 
Like, what? Like, damn. So I found, so it was not working and he was not allowing me to leave until I blew very hard in that shit. So now I finally just did it, right? He gets it. I give it, I give the officer the fucking test back. He's like, oh yeah, you're going to jail. <laughs> so I'm in the back of the car. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, all right, I swear to God, I said, okay. So in, my, in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Like, this ain't nothing serious. Like, I'm about to get out of here. It's not like I hit somebody or I did something wrong. I don't have no prior records. Like, I'm good. Like, I got this, I got this down pat. So I'm like, all right, cool. So now I'm sober now because it's like, I'm going to jail. And mind you, I'm out of town six hours on a flight away from New York I, I'm up, I'm up. So when I got there now, no, before I got there, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck is this motherfucker getting back to the B&B because this motherfucker is lit as shit and how the fuck, where is the car going? Because the car is a rental. So now, I don't know what happened around that time. I'm gonna tell y'all like at the ending. So, I don't know what happened at that moment, but all I knew was I was going to jail. So, I was asking the cops. I'm like, oh, is, like, is this motherfucker following to get me out? Because they was like, oh, that person has to go home and this, that, and the other. So, I was like, all right, cool. Like, whatever. Like, I just thought this motherfucker would have been smart enough to just follow the cops. But I guess the motherfucker wasn't. So I get to the fucking jail and these motherfuckers tell me take everything off, take my jewelry off, take whatever off. Like, mind you, I ain't have my bag with me. I ain't have my ID. I ain't have shit with me. Like, everything was left in the fucking car. Mind you, I did not know because I was fucking drunk. I didn't fucking remember. Like, now I, I, I was lost. Like, the cops, I was just lost. I'm like, what the fuck? So, mind you, now I'm in the jail. So they put, so now they got me sitting. So I'm like, could I use the phone? So I'm calling the motherfucker I was with and the motherfucker is not answering. So I'm just like, yo bro, like what am I gonna do? Like, like I can't call my mother. My mother don't even know I'm here. She don't even know where I'm at. So I can't call my mother. I mean, I can, but that was the last thing I was thinking about. <clears throat> Cause you know, eventually your mother comes to the rescue all the time. It don't matter if you in a situation that she didn't know you was about to be in, they going to pull up and then curse your ass out. So now um, I'm in the jail and they put me the, um, they put me in the cell. No, before they put me in the cell, I asked, I had my phone on me and I asked, can I see my phone so I can get at least three numbers out of it? Because I, I don't know no one number by heart. Mind you, I don't know people numbers by heart because we got iPhones. Like, <laughs> We not worried about people numbers and remembering that shit. I ain't even remember my mother number. So what I did was I decided to write numbers down and I decided to write my friend Kimani number down. So I'm like, out of all my friends, I wrote her number down because I just knew she would pick up. Like I just knew it. So so I'm, I wrote my brother, I wrote my mother, I wrote my cousin and I wrote Kimani number down. So, mind you, they was telling me, like, I got to hurry up. Like, so I'm just like, damn, like, I'm trying to send somebody a text real quick. So whenever they wake up, they see it. Because, mind you, where I was at is, like, three, it's, like, three hours behind. And then over here is three hours ahead. So hopefully they'll wake up soon and they'll see this shit. Because, uh, mind you, it's, like, two or one in the morning and I'm in jail right now. So I, I decided to call my friend. And she answers and she's like hello like she act, she, she's mad surprised because it's like you hear simone you know when uh, when you get a jail call they be like you got to say your name so that person on the other end who answers hear who's calling so it's like what the fuck is simone doing in jail so she answers and i'm like yo could you call my mom like <laughs> So I'm crying, I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. Cause at this point I gotta get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, whoa, like now, now I understand like I'm in serious type of trouble because this is a D-U, 
yeah, D U Y. Like basically, that's what I got. So, so now I'm just like, damn, like I'm scared because it's like I'm in a, like my mother can't get to me this fucking fast. I'm all the way on the other side. So, um, that motherfucker I was with wasn't answering. I don't know what. Oh no, I do know what happened. That motherfucker was drunk as shit and don't even remember what the fuck happened. I came back to the B and B. The fucking door was open, like. Listen, anyways, so I called my friend and they gave me a bills and bond the, the the jail, they gave me a bills and bonds like list of people that I can call. So I was calling people and I finally got this, I got through the, to this one man and he answered the phone and he was willing to help me. He even came to the jail because I could have been caught out. He came to the jail to see if my bag was there so he can get my, um, my bank card and stuff because I had money on my card. It's just that I didn't have nothing, like I didn't have nothing there. So he couldn't bail me out without me like without him taking my card or something so nothing was there he came to the jail so now it's over now i gotta wait now i gotta wait till like 12 in the afternoon so now i gotta stay in the jail from one in the night one in the morning to 12 in the afternoon to the next day so now i'm pissed the fuck off because it's like the motherfucker i was with is like you're not answering i'm locked up Nobody knows where the fuck my bag is at. I don't even know where my bag is at. I don't even know if the motherfucker got the bag. And I just, I'm just confused. I'm like, why is this happening to me? So now I'm off the phone with my mother and my friend because I was calling them. I was crying. I was mad. I was tight. I was just crying because it's like, how did I end up in this situation? I was not supposed to end up in this situation. And... So eventually now they tell me I got to get off the phone. So I'm getting mad. Like, it's like, what? Like, why I got to get off the phone? Like, I was hogging the phone. I was not trying to let nobody use the phone. So now they told me I got to get get off the phone. And so, you know, the COs, the females, they be acting like bitches. And one of them was like, oh, you got to get off the phone. And I'm like, well, he just told me I could stay on the phone, which one of the officers did. And she was mad. So... Eventually, I really did have to get off the phone. And when I got off the phone, they told me I had to, they put me in a cell. So the type of cell they put me in was, it was more so not a cell. It was like a box and I couldn't see shit. They closed the door. It was over. All I had was walls surrounding me. And it was like three girls in there with me. And it was like, literally, like it was no bad. It was nothing. It was just like hard metal steel. So now I'm sitting in there and I'm tight because I'm like, damn, like I've never been in a situation where I'm like, I don't have my phone. Like I, like I have no control over this situation at this point because I can't, it's not like, you know, you can't react. It's not like, oh, you about to react, start screaming and yelling and banging on the door. Like they about to do something. They don't give a fuck about none of that. So the only thing I had in me was go to sleep. So that's exactly what I did. I went the fuck to sleep. And the bitches that I was in there with, them bitches looked like they was on drugs. So I'm like, yo, bro, I cannot believe I'm in this situation with these crackhead bitches. Like, come on. Like, so, so then I decided, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to sleep. Fuck this shit. So then they, so then the morning comes, like it's daylight now and they're serving breakfast. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, why the fuck am I still in here? So I'm mad. I'm like, yo, can I use the phone? So they came, they gave us bre breakfast, and I didn't want that shit. I'm like, I don't want that because I'm like, I'm getting out of here. Like, I'm not staying in here. I don't want that. So now they call me, and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going home. I'm happy. Bro, they put me in another cell. They put me in another cell with this girl. So now I got to use the bathroom really bad. And it had a toilet in that cell we was in. So I used the fucking bathroom. Because at this point, it's like, there's no privacy. I just got to use the bathroom. It is what it is. And mind you, in that jail, it was mad scary. Because I was, like, it looked like it was serial killers and all types of shit in that shit. And the way they were shackled, like, some of the, some of the inmates were shackled up. Like, in New York, you know, if you get locked up you going to be with the females and the niggas going to be with the niggas. No. In this in this case, the females and the niggas was together. It was scary. I did not like that shit. So, 
now I'm in the cell with this girl and I'm using the bathroom and she she looked like she was drunk too, but she she just put the sheet over her head and she went to sleep. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm just laying there thinking and I'm like, damn, like, what's about to happen to me? Cause like, is anybody gonna come get me? Is anybody even gonna know where I'm at? Like, I don't even know what to do no more. I can't make no calls. I can't do shit. So then this lady comes to the door and she was like, she said my last name and I, and I got up. So she took me to the back room and she was like, take your clothes off. I'm like, what? So she like, take your clothes off. So then she starts handing me this orange jumpsuit, these panties, these bras, these socks. So I'm just like, what the fuck? And so I'm like, wait, what, what's going on? So she was like, you going upstairs? So I'm like, all right. I ain't bothered to ask her no questions because I already know how female CEOs are and I don't need that energy. So I, I'm just going along with everything just to see how far I'm about to go. So I take everything off and I'm in this jumpsuit. Mind you, she took pictures of all my tattoos and everything on me. And she had me like in the back of this fucking room. I don't know. But the point where I took my shit off, she gave me this bucket with a bag and some toothpaste and like some utensils and shit. So I'm like, you know what? This, these motherfuckers is playing with me. So now I, so now she tells me that I gotta go upstairs. Exactly this is how she did it. She was like, you gotta go upstairs. So I'm like, I'm thinking somebody gonna walk me up there. I don't, I'm not from here. I don't know what the fuck is, like what the fuck that mean. So I'm like, all right, cool. So she opens the door, I guess like whatever lock system they got, she opens the door and I'm walking upstairs and I'm very confused because I'm holding this bucket in my hand and I'm like, yo, I'm really in jail right now. So I walk up the stairs and one of the CO's open, like I'm standing there because I don't know which door I should go through. So one of the CO comes, some guy, and he was like, you ain't never been here before and smiling. So I'm like, no, I'm not even from this state. So then he was like, all right. So he was actually being nice to me. He was some white guy, he was being really nice. And he was like, I was like, can I use the phone? And he was like, yeah, you can. He was like, but I'm gonna have to put you in the cell in a few because I gotta let them out. So mind you, when I walked up there, bro, I seen mad bitches like and they look crazy like i swear to god i'm like no i'm not about to go in there with these crazy bitches like that's all i kept saying i'm like no i'm not about to go in this cell with all these crazy bitches like you dead ass pretty old me so i'm like all right man like whatever in my head i'm like fuck it so i get my own cell so i'm happy i ain't going in the it's like this big ass room and they was all standing there looking all dazed down and shit you could tell like a lot of them were on drugs so then i went into the cell and i put my stuff in there and he let me out to use the phone then he was like he at first, before he let me use the phone he was like you want to talk so i'm like yeah I'm like, of course, why not? Who the fuck wouldn't want to talk? I do want to talk. When is my bills and bonds man coming to get me? And could you find out? Because right now I don't belong. I don't belong in here. So he let me use the phone. Boom, boom, boom. I called my friend back and I called my mother. Cool. They told me that the bills and bonds, he said that he's coming. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like, the only thing I can do now is wait. I, like, I, I got to leave this shit in God's hands. So, um... Then the guy, the CO guy, he put me back in the cell because he had to let the other inmates out. And he came back to me. He was like, when he put me in the cell, he was like, I'm about to go check for you. I'm about to go downstairs and check. So when he did, he did exactly that. And he came back upstairs and he was like, you going home. So I was like, ah. I was happy because, boy, first of all, I didn't even give a fuck. Like I was on some shit. Like I was acting like I just did tw a 20 year bid. Like I didn't have no charger i didn't have no money i didn't know where the fuck i was going i didn't know how i was getting back to the airbnb i didn't know nothing i didn't even know where the fucking car was okay so that was another mission that was another mission so basically i got out right the bills and bands uh, the bills and bonds bands came and got me i got out whatever i had to go to the court and I do all that extra paperwork shit so now now i'm looking for the fucking car 
And this motherfucker who I was with didn't even know where the fucking car was. Bro, and mind you, the car was on my name because I rented it. So now I'm looking for the fucking car, bro. And I'm panicking. And I had to keep thinking back, like, where is the car? Like, I, I can't remember because I was lit. So then eventually I started calling the officers or calling around who arrested me because I need, I need to know where the car is at. Thankfully, I finally found out and the officers parked the car for me. And that was actually nice of them because they could have actually got that shit towed if they wanted to. But they actually parked the car in the parking lot and left the keys in there. So I was like, shit, at least at least that was nice you know at least they did something nice but y'all niggas really arrested me so anyways so now i'm like fuck this i'm going home like i don't even want to be here no more like this shit is not it like this was not supposed to happen and mind you i came home so i got on a flight like literally that same day I packed my shit and I got right on the flight. Like, I wasn't staying there. That was a dub because it was too much bad energy and bad shit going on. So, I got on the flight and now I got court. So, now I got court. So, now they got to give me whatever sentence or whatever they need to give me. So, in that state, they require five days in jail when you have your first DUI. They don't play that shit. Five days. So luckily for me, COVID hit. And when COVID hit, they couldn't request the order for me to fly back to that state to um, do my five days in jail. So I was like, yo, bro. So then my, so then I had court like throughout, like court was po po postponed. Sorry, it was postponed because of COVID. And then eventually when my lawyer um eventually when i did um did the case through zoom or whatever the case is i went to court they gave me like you know they told me i had to do community service and blah blah blase blase and i did exactly everything they asked me for and i finished it and now my case is dismissed okay now my case is dismissed and guess what i learned my lesson i would never drink and drive again i'm telling you that especially out of town because out of town them niggas is taking you to the fucking jail they're not taking you to no little precinct no they're taking you to the jail like you're either gonna stay there or some way somehow you're gonna get out and i eventually got out i eventually got out yes and that was the time i got arrested guys like i was scared but it was just most of a learning lesson because that's not you who wants to be in jail and i'm too pretty for that all i kept thinking about was now i gotta be now these bitches about to be asking me mad questions and now I'm too pretty to be in this bitch. Like, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to find my way. And and I was already seeing who I was plotting on. It was that CEO. Okay? He was going he was going to be the one. He was going to be the one to to bring me my snacks and bring me my stuff that I needed, like my phones or whatever. Whatever I needed, that motherfucker was going to get it because he was over here acting real flirtatious and he didn't even know that I was going to use his ass. I don't know what the fuck he thought, but nigga, you was going to be used because I don't know nobody in this town. But I'm just happy that I was not arrested for no five days because I would have been sick. And I'm happy that I'm also not from that fucking state and I'm never going back there. That's a dub. Never. So... Yes, guys, that was the end of that situation. Your girl really got locked up. Like, I was really, I was really tight. But thank you for listening to my stories. And I love you guys so much. And I keep moving my hands a lot. I don't know why. But, yeah, thanks for watching my stories. And I got more videos for y'all. More clothes. More everything. So stay soon. All right? Thank y'all.